What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Average Guys Gourmet. As usual, I'm Tony Regan and today I got a great little appetizer for you. What I'm doing is I'm taking two loved recipes and combining them for one even better recipe. We're going to use General Tso's Chicken, that awesome tiny dish that you all love, and the American classic, wings. So I'm going to make General Tso's Chicken Wings. These things are great. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. For this recipe, we're going to go ahead and start with marinating our chicken. Now to make that marinade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of egg whites, some cooking sherry, some soy sauce, and some vodka, and just thoroughly mix this together. that thoroughly combined, I'm going to take about a third of it, set it aside, and to this larger portion I'm going to add my baking soda and my cornstarch and mix that all together. Once completely combined, I'm going to pour that over my chicken, thoroughly mix this together. take a piece of clear plastic wrap, put it over the top of this. I'm going to set this aside and let it marinate for about 20 minutes or so. Once that chicken's done marinating, we're ready to go ahead and coat and cook it. Now I've got my oil in a fryer set to 350 degrees. You could do this on your stove top, but it's the same thing. You want it set at 350 degrees because you want that chicken to fry and cook in there, not just soak up that oil. So what I've got is I've got one cup of flour and uh, one cup of cornstarch. I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder and salt and mix it together. Then I'm going to take that reserve marinade from earlier, pour that over and mix that in also. Once you're done mixing it together, you'll notice it's nice and clumpy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken wings that have been marinating and get them a nice coating of this. Then we're going to go ahead and let them fry for about five minutes. If you're doing this on the stovetop in about an inch of oil, go ahead and make sure you flip them plenty of times so they cook all the way on both sides. While your chicken's frying up, you can go ahead and start making your sauce. For this, what you're going to want to do is take your soy sauce, your cooking sherry, your rice vinegar, some chicken stock, and two tablespoons of sesame, uh, sesame oil. I'm also going to add in sugar and cornstarch and just mix this all together. Now that that sauce is all mixed up, my sugar and my cornstarch completely dissolved, I'm ready to finish this one up. Over here on the stovetop, I got a couple tablespoons of oil heating up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some diced green onion, some diced ginger, and some diced garlic into there along with some chilies and some red pepper flake. I'm going to let this go until that ginger and that garlic become uh, start to become tender and real fragrant. Now after a couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take that sauce we just made and pour it in. 
I'm gonna let this come to a boil and thicken up a little bit. After a couple of minutes, it'll start to thicken up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take that fried chicken and I'm gonna put it in this sauce. You're gonna wanna toss it around, mix it up, make sure it gets coated nicely. This one is done. Now just take a look at these. They look amazing. They got that awesome golden fried look to them. That sauce looks beautiful on it. I want to dice a little bit of green onion just to, you know, make it look real pretty. But it doesn't matter how pretty these look. What matters is how do these wings taste? Mmm. These are simply amazing. You guys are going to love these. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.